Hello oh, and welcome to Bay 1, this is Jafal Maraxi. Uh, we're doing tier 1 builds, oh, well not tier 1 builds, we're doing plasma builds today, so uh, we're going to be going over a few different designs and stuff like that, so uh, yeah, um, for anyone who's just tuning in at the start of the stream, I will be uh, syncing all of these videos onto YouTube at youtube.com forward slash robocraftb01 or bay01. Uh, yeah, um, but anyway, and also don't forget to check out Facebook where I usually post stuff on Facebook. Well, not lots of stuff because I don't have that many Facebook followers, but it's facebook.com forward slash robocraftb01 as well. So anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is a little tier 1 plasma design that I came up with. Uh, I'm going to start by uh, showing you how to build this one. Uh, so let's just grab some of these blocks and we're just going to build it straight in front here. And build it a little bit higher up off the ground so you can see some of the internal workings. Um, but yeah, it's a simple design. It's not overly powerful or anything, but it's got it takes advantage of um, a few more advanced features, uh, such as um, uh, what do we call it? Uh, oh, my brain is dying on me already. Yes, it takes advantage of triforcing in terms of armoring design. So first thing we're going to do here is grab the pilot seat here and put that on that block there. Uh, it's going to turn the rest of the design red. Um, we're going to put the back uh, tower in where we've got the rear plasma mounted on. And we're going to put in the rest of the control blocks here. So let's actually move this robot up, the, up in height a little bit so that we can see better what we're doing. And that's the period key enables us to do that. So we've got heavy blocks here at the back and this is for balance reasons otherwise it has a tendency to do wheelies and all sorts of funny skiddy type things. And to do the clone mode where you're building from side to side it's a matter of pressing the X key that toggles on that little clone thing and the red line on the on the garage floor. And now what I'm going to do is actually build, uh, put down the sections for the wheel connections. Uh, so for here it's going to be rear facing blocks like that and you'll see up here where I've got um, upward facing sections. These aren't directly connected to the blocks but these actually serve to connect from the center to uh, the armoring on the actual robot so um, we need to make sure we get those up in place as well. And those are built like so. So let's complete through building these and we need to go forward another couple of blocks with those as well. So. Here we go. Okay, so that's it for the wheel mounts and then we've got another couple of blocks that actually go forward. Um, which these are all white blocks here so we've got one two white blocks in front of the wheel mount and then we've got this whole um, bunch of blocks here I'm using inners here on the front um, f this is kind of the exception in terms of how the triforce design is worked and uh, I've actually done these build sections backwards because I'm a dumbass so let's actually fix these. It's better to discover this stuff now than later. And the reason they're backwards is because the front ones here need to be placed so that um, they don't connect to the blocks in front along this edge here so they need to be rotated that way and that way I can put the inner blocks on like so and any damage that these take doesn't get transmitted through. So let's get that part. We've got another couple that go on here. And take these off for now. Uh, actually, I think we actually have a... Yeah, it's the same front and back, so we can put... 
the prisms here and on the ends we got some tetras and now we build a tower uh, on the end which goes up so on this section ah rotation's not quite right and then more prisms so just to s if i want to select a block that i've got my mouse over i just press the middle mouse button and it clones it so that's how i'm doing the clone stuff and then we build like so and prisms on the top and this serves as kind of protection from this angle it also acts as a connection point for the side armor uh, but the real uh, Triforced front armor is this section here. So you'll see where this is designed to be spaced away from the front set of guns enough that you can take a plasma blast to the front and not have worry about losing any of the bot the, of the guns. You might, if you're unlucky, lose some of the wheels, uh, but you've got rear steering wheels as well for that purpose. So we need to go ahead and get these blocks put in place so once they're placed we can move those it's literally you just put them in there so that you can actually get the block placement correct actually we don't need yeah okay we've used standard prisms like there and then we got the same thing here in terms of the prism connections and then we got the blocks at the front which this is just a solid set of blocks on the bottom level. Uh, if you look in here, there's another solid set of blocks that goes back on to which the gun's mounted. But um, we then have two prisms in front, which these again act as ablative armoring. So that's the front section of the bot done there. And now it's a matter of framing out some of the armoring. So. This is all done using prisms. It makes for a very lightweight design. So that's a prism there as well. And now we've got a tetra that goes on the outside. I think that's at the right height. We've got another prism. And this also acts as a point for the gun protection mount. So mostly focusing on just building the shell here at the moment. But what I am going to do is add on the wheels. So we've got the front set of wheels mounts onto this block here. We've got a second set of steering wheels that mounts onto this block at the back here. And then the middle set of wheels are non-steering, and that's to enable us to still have control if we lose the front or rear sets of wheels. Usually the middle wheels will be the last wheels to actually go. So, And then we're going to put some prisms onto the end spars of these sections. So one there, one there, one there. Uh, we can't do it on the back because of how this is shaped, but we do have this armoring that acts as a kind of shroud for the wheels here. Uh, so we'll be reprising that. But what we are doing is we're adding the rest of the shield or sheath or whatever we want to call it for this section. Put in a prism here. Or a tetra rather. It's not a prism. We can't put in the block on which that mounts, but we can... Put in the rear connection point. And what you will find here is that the actual gun mount for these guns is not uh, actually mounted to these blocks. So what you will see is as I get into putting these blocks in, uh, which will happen in just a second, um, uh, what am I doing? Let's take the pilot seat out temporarily. We've got these blocks. They appear not to be mounted onto anything, but that's not going to matter. Uh, let's get the pilot seat and put it in there. Actually, we'll leave that out for now because we don't need it for building. Uh, we're going to put a prism in over here, which this is what 
these blocks will actually be mounted to and there will also be a prism in behind it which acts as a mount point as well these aren't actually prisms these are going to be are they prisms yeah they are prisms okay so we've got prisms in here which mount to this tower which also acts as a mount point for these guns uh, so there's no direct connection to the pilot seat below and then we build up wait a minute what have i done wrong here because this is not in the right location uh okay that tower is actually one block too far forward so let's fix that my bad we all make mistakes as the dalek says climbing off the dustbin um yes there we go that's more in the right location so you'll see that these blocks don't connect to this actual outside armor sheathing uh, but we do have a gun mount there now. And I need to buy some more T1 plasma guns. Let's just buy 10. You can never have too many. Okay, so we've got the front set there, we've got the front mount here, but we're still missing the mount for these guns. But it's the same kind of situation as for the guns behind, uh, where we have the mounts are actually going to be up like so. So we rotate that around, which uh, maybe I should consider looking at changing this block here into a forward, uh, just a prism. Uh, not a prism, a tetra, so that it doesn't actually connect to the front block here, but I'm not that concerned about the damage mitigation on those ones. Uh, so we can fit these guns in here, so that means we've now got the full array of plasma, and now it's just a matter of finishing off the rest of the armor for the design. Um, first things first, uh, we're looking at here... We've got armoring that comes out and mounts on over the wheels here. So, yeah, we've got that prism is not connected on yet, or that. There we go. And this is where you have to do a little bit of finagling just to get the armor to go on correctly. I'm going to take the wheels off for a second. Uh, so, let's rotate that down. No, that's not going to work. Wrong one. Let's rotate that block. The armor can now go on, and then we can place that back. Same again. So these prisms or these tetras here act as a another mount point for these armor, this armor sheath kind of design. And that doesn't transfer all the way out to the back because this is where we actually have a set of prisms that mount on like so. Uh, we've got some internal armoring mount sections here that also hook on. So we'll get to those in just a second. But we've got, I think it was five wide on the back. Yeah, and it's two bits that go underneath here. Uh, let's get the wheels back on here now. Got the inner set of wheels, there we go. And now it's just a matter of finishing off these sections here. Uh, we've got a prism that goes on there, although that's not actually a prism, is it? That's a standard block. And then we're using inners that go on next to those. And then these are actual prisms here. And what we have mounted underneath these is we've got a bunch of inners and tetras and stuff like that. So let's get these blocks completed out. And if you want some extra structural reinforcement, you can also put some more blocks on like so. So that helps to reinforce that area a little bit. And you'll see that uh, currently this design is showing up uh, you know, way over on CPU and stuff like that, but 
Uh, as soon as I delete this, that should go away. So let's just put the pilot seat in, which is down in the middle here. We don't really have to worry about protection from plasma or anything like that. And we've also got this block here. Well, not protection from plasma, protection from flying. And now we can go ahead and delete this. And if I've done everything right, it should be the complete bot design there. Uh, it is a relatively effective tier one plasma vehicle. So let's give it a whirl. Hopefully there's going to be enough people at Uh, tier 1 classic mode to see this in action and no doubt I'm going to get very embarrassed and get one shot and killed or something like that. Hopefully we can avoid that. Yeah, so that entire front section is literally meant as impulative armor and also that shroud around the rest of the bot. Oh, I forgot to put the back piece of armor on there. The You see on that rear plasma gun, uh, there's a shroud is missing from there. Oh well. You live and learn. And I don't think I've got quite enough momentum to get up the slope there, so we're going the slow way. Don't forget to spot. Plasma cruiser spotted. SMG cruiser spotted. So I've lost one gun so far. It's not too bad. Ah. Secret plasma. Don't forget the. It takes a while for plasma to sight in. So unlike SMGs, they track really fast. Plasma doesn't. Missed. But let's go and defend. shoot worth a damn today. Oh, what was that? No gun left. Ah, it's me against the team. We'll give it one more go. Uh, 